One of the most useful features of a database is the ability to quickly find information you're looking for. FileMaker Pro is particularly good at this. The very simplest of searches are a snap in FileMaker. Let's say I'm looking for all the books by a particular author. I can just go into Find Mode, enter the name of the author I'm looking for into the Author field, and as soon as I choose the Perform Find command, the result of the search is displayed. Now, as you just saw, I used the overhead menus to go into Find Mode and also to perform the find. An even easier way would have been to click the Find icon in the Status Toolbar to go into Find Mode, and then after entering the criteria, click the Perform Find icon also in the Status Toolbar to see the results. And of course, there are keyboard equivalents for both steps as well. Command F on the Mac will take you into Find Mode, the equivalent is Control F on Windows, and the Return or Enter key on the keyboard on either platform will perform the find. In the find I've just performed, you can see that the status toolbar is telling us that I've found one of 15 records. However, if I were to put the layout into list view, then if more than one record was found, they would appear one below the other here, making it easy to see and scroll through the results. Now let's go back into find mode and try some different criteria. Let's say that rather than entering the entire author name, I simply enter the first letter of an author's name. When I perform the find, by clicking Perform Find in the Status Toolbar, FileMaker will return any records that have an author name starting with the letter or letters I entered. So you can see that the Status Toolbar tells me that 4 out of 15 records have been found, and indeed we're seeing 4 records displayed in the window each of which shows a name starting with the letter K in the author name field. If I want to go further than that and not just find all the records for books with authors whose names start with a K, but also want to find all books by an author whose first or last name begins with S. To do that, I'll go back into Find Mode and try a more complex search with more than one set of find criteria in place at the same time. This kind of search is sometimes called a compound search. First of all, as before, I'll enter a K into the Author field, and now before performing the find, I'll create a new find request using the convenient New Request button in the Status Toolbar. I'll enter an S into the Author Name field in my second find request. These two find requests are going to be actioned simultaneously when I perform the find, so the results of the second find request will be added to the results of the first. Now we're seeing six records in the results of the find, and the list includes all books currently in the database by authors who have a first name starting with either a K or an S. So that was a compound find where we opened up the criteria to include more matching records in the results. So if you like, it was an inclusive compound find. Now let's try a different approach. This time I'll set up a compound find that takes us in a slightly different direction. After going to find mode, and putting a K into the author field, I'll create a second request, and I'll put greater than 1999 into the year field. Now, while the second request is still active, I'll click on the Omit button in the Status Toolbar. This changes the way the second request works, so that rather than the matching records being included in the results, any records in the results from the first request that meet the criterion I've entered in the second request will be excluded from the results. So you might regard the include and omit buttons in the status toolbar as reversing the effect of the request you apply them to. When you have multiple find requests, they'll be processed in order from the first through to the last. So what we have here is a set of instructions that tells FileMaker to find the books with author's names starting with a K and then discard the ones that were published later than 1999 returning only the ones that were published prior to the year 2000. Remember that when I previously searched for books with an author's name beginning with K, four records were returned. This time, when I perform the find, only two records are returned. And as you can see, they're the ones that have a year of publication prior to the year 2000. In this last find, I used a second find request to filter out some of the records that would otherwise have been returned and I created a second find request to achieve that. Another way to do something similar would be to put additional criteria into a single request. For example, if I create a find request for books that have an author name starting with K, like so, 
and then I add less than 2000 into the year field on the same request. When I perform the find, both the criteria will be applied in a single action, and only those records that match all the criteria I entered in a single request are returned. Similarly, if I set up a find request with a K in both the author name field and the title field, FileMaker will return only a single record, Kim by Kipling. When you're performing a find, you can stack up multiple criteria in each request to narrow down your search. And you can add as many requests as you like, using them to widen or narrow the search results, depending on whether you set them to include or omit matching records. As you may recall from a previous lesson, once you have the results of a find showing, you can swap the found and omitted sets by clicking on the pie icon, or by choosing the show omitted only command from the records menu. Effectively, FileMaker has temporarily split the records into two groups according to the find criteria, and it's allowing you to toggle between them. And of course, at any time, you can cancel the find and get all the records on display at once by choosing Show All. Having isolated a group of records as a found set, it's also very useful to be able to change the order in which they're displayed, that is, to sort them. In this case, if I click on the Sort button in the Status Toolbar, I can specify a sort order based on any of the available fields. So for instance, if I use the list of fields at the left of the Sort Records dialog to locate the Author field and click the Move button to bring it across into the sort order at the right, then when I click the Sort button at the lower left, the records are returned in alphabetical order by the value in the Author field. Interestingly, similar to the way you can perform compound finds, you can also set up compound sorts, where you're sorting on more than one field at the same time. You do this by adding more than one field to the sort order. For example, if I add the Publisher field to the sort order, we'll be sorting by author name first, and where there may be multiple books by the same author, they'll then be presented in alphabetical order by the Publisher field value. You can select a field and click the Move button to add it to the sort order, or you can simply double-click the field in the list at the left, and that will add it to the bottom of the sort order at the right. When you've got multiple fields in the sort order list, you can use the handle icon at the left of a field to drag it up or down to a different position in the sort order hierarchy. So, for example, if I drag the Publisher field up to the top, we'll then be sorting records first by Publisher, and then by author within the books by a given publisher, and so on. Another useful feature is the ability to change the way each sort is applied. The icon at the right of each field in the sort order list that looks like a staircase ascending from left to right signifies that the sort will be an ascending order sort. In the case of a text field, an ascending sort will start with A and go upwards towards Z, but you can select any field in the list and choose a different sort order for that particular tier of the sort hierarchy using the radio button controls in the lower part of the dialog. For instance, I can choose a descending order to sort backwards from Z to A for the author name. It's also possible to choose a custom order based on a value list. We don't presently have any value lists defined in this file, so that option wouldn't be very useful right now. But if, for example, we'd created a list of the names of publishers in a predetermined order, we'd be able to choose that list here and sort the records by it. Further down in the dialog, you also have additional controls to tie the sort to summary values, allowing the sort order to be calculated according to the data about each entry in the sort group, and also to use sorting conventions for a different language. The sort dialog has two additional features that can be very useful. One of them is the button here labelled Unsort. You can use this button to put the records back into their original order, or their default order, which is determined by the order that they were originally entered or imported into the database. The other crucially important feature in the Sort Records dialog is this little checkbox at the lower left labelled Keep Records in Sorted Order. With this checkbox turned on, once the sort is applied, whenever the data changes in one of the fields that you've included in the sort order, as soon as the change is committed, FileMaker will move the record to a new position that reflects the new value in the sorted field. Mostly that's really useful, but there can be times when it will be disconcerting, when you're editing records and they're jumping around all over the place, for example. So the checkbox here gives you the ability to turn that behaviour off for situations where it isn't helpful. So finding records and sorting them in FileMaker is generally quite straightforward, but it can also be quite powerful 
enabling you to very quickly isolate a group of records according to some specific search criteria, and then present them in whatever order you require.